Hi guys, we're back with more State of Decay 2. We just moved to Camp Kalenkwa to begin the new year. Uh, it's a new year, new base. Uh, we're still setting up shop here very much so. So it's going to be maybe another episode after this one or two before we get it completely to our liking. Um, just make sure chat is up. Hope everybody's doing good. Thank you again for joining me here. I have to give the same warning that I did the last episode to you guys about perhaps my Xbox just turning off during the stream because uh, it could happen. Because I've had some real problems with my Xbox One this past week with it not starting up or starting up and then just turning itself off right before the uh, main screen comes up. So it's random like when it decides it wants to work and when it doesn't work so um, I've tried like unplugging it and leaving it unplugged for a little while and that seems to help I think that maybe cools down the power cord it might just be a busted power cord or you know it just might not be working too well but you know we'll see you know, I really don't want to have the money to go get another Xbox One you know not when I'm saving for other systems and other equipment and stuff for the channel, other games, you know, and paying rent and needing to get food. I don't want to have to go spend money on something that I already have. I already had to do that once recently when I had to get a new mic because my mic I had before just randomly stopped working, so I had to buy another one. And that was not an expense I saw coming, but that's why you never know. Alright, uh, upgrade. Let's upgrade this. This is what we wanted to do. Whoa. Sure That's going to take a while, so we got to start that one. 20 uh, infirmary. We want to do this, too. Because that will allow us to craft first aid kits. Uh, so we have to do that. We also have to build a farm. We got a lot we got to do still for this base. A lot, guys. Um, we may just spend the night here at the base, and when it gets daytime out, if it happens during this episode, we'll uh, I will go out and do some stuff. I'm streaming at night here, as you can see, so you won't hear that annoying construction that's always going on outside my window. Because um, I usually, you guys know, I usually stream this game during the day. Figured why not tonight. Build a farm. We also want a sniper tower. That will take 48 minutes. Holy crap. Okay, that's going to have to be saved for an episode all on its own. Uh, oh my gosh. We might as well start building a, a farm now. Why is that going to take 30 minutes? That seems like a really, really long time. We gotta start it. We gotta get this stuff done. So this is going. We can't put any mods in there while that's going. Do 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 do. -do. Maddie's gonna have a look around here. So the beds. Now we can upgrade those to sheltered beds. That's something else we want to do. then we should have enough beds because we have one available now so we can probably get rid of we'll not get rid of any of the beds but it means we don't have to build more we actually don't even need to upgrade that we have plenty <laughs> so we have a sniper tower going in there we'll have a farm there we can clear this and put something in there. We want to upgrade the infirmary, the workshop. We're upgrading storage and farm right now. Um, as far as another outpost goes, I'm thinking maybe fuel or even, I don't know, fuel or materials probably. Although we already have two material ones. We do have to clear this other thing though. We have power, we have water. So 
we can see there. Mod in there, so we're good. Wait, does this have a mod? Let's see if this has a mod. Oh, it can't have a mod. But we can upgrade it, get an extra bed that we won't need, but we can at least put a facility mod in there. So we probably will do that too, just so we can put a mod in and get the perks of that. Okay, that's like I said, these are going to take a while, but you know, that's okay. Uh, let's go clear that other area. What is this one? This is the workshop, which you also want to upgrade. Pretty much everything needs to be upgraded. As we know, whenever you move, it takes a bit to get set up again. But we pretty much know what we like to use and what we have. Uh, this has got the wood stove in there to keep them warm. I know we have infestations up the wazoo, but we can't worry about that right now. We will take care of some of those maybe a little bit later. Just want to get our home set up. Priority number one. Where's that clearable thing? Maybe it's over in this building. I gotta rest a sec. Is it in here? Here it is. We will dismantle that. Here's our kitchen. Which we can use to collect seeds and all that if we need more seeds. We can actually produce food, coffee, energy drinks. We can grill stuff, which actually might be good because then we can bring up morale for a little bit because morale is kind of low right now because of the infestations and us just moving, not having all of our stuff together. Um, so maybe we'll do that. Let's uh, let's grill some stuff up. Cleared up. Oh, we have like five things. Okay, we're gonna get a, a, a siege coming. So, whatever. Bring it on. It was inevitable with everything we have going on right now. Here's a bathroom. I guess that's just a perk of having this place. Who's in the kitchen? I feel like, I mean, should Juma be in there? He's a chef. Where are you, Juma? Food stockpile low? No, it's not. It's 27. It's telling me it's low at 27. That's a little weird. How is it low? I could see if it was like 7. 27's low? We're losing. Oh, we're losing 14 a day. That's why. Because survivors are eating 15 a day. They eat too much. Well, because we haven't planted our farm yet. Once we get that going, we'll get the food in. But we're only allowed to have one farm here, so that's going to be a little difficult unless... Well... Is the infirmary in a small slot? Well, we'll see what we can build inside. Right now we're just waiting for things to finish so we can... If anything, maybe we can move the infirmary inside here and then maybe build like another small farm or garden outside where that is to get some extra food and meds if we need. So the seating area is going to be gone. It's nice, but it's going to be going. Peddler's Barbecue there. King of the Pit. Oh, it has a little stove here. I didn't realize that. That's nice. A little fireplace here. Hopefully that doesn't go. 
That better stay. We will see. We have these uh, vending machines too. We want we got coffee. Uh, there's nothing in there, but then this looks like soda. <laughs> I doubt those work. Back in the kitchen, so nice little kitchen here. mod is this uh, plus 10 storage for food with power okay so you have plenty of room for food so the grill is going to be just about done we grill and stuff up and then we can that should boost our morale for a little bit at least for like you know most of the rest of this episode this is gone and yes we kept our stove over here excellent all right now what can we build here Oh, see, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do, what I just said. I think we're going to destroy the infirmary and build it in here and then build a garden outside. That seems to be the best thing. We don't need more beds. And what is this? This would be kind of cool to break to make some of these daybreak facilities, but we haven't done that. I don't know what you need to do in order to get that. You probably need to beat daybreak, which I haven't done. On well, the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Zero, yes, Dev, what's up, Dev? How you doing? The next episode. Name this for uh, for Dr. Dre, who we know is battling a brain aneurysm, but I heard he's doing pretty good, which is good. He's recovering. Get well, get well, Dre. Um, yeah. See, I'm thinking about what I'm doing. Okay, so we have to go kill the infirmary and then build it again. So that's okay. We didn't upgrade it or anything. Oh, we did upgrade it already, didn't we? To the two. Darn it. Well, whatever. This is what has to be done. Then we immediately want to start building the infirmary in here. There we go. Okay. They still tell me food stockpile is low, but that's. Why did you get you got fired? What? Were they letting people go? That's not good news. So you're going to be able to collect unemployment now? At least. Find our cars too. There might be some rucksacks in the cars still. Maddie's tired. She's got to rest. <laughs> All right, let's put her get some rest. We'll bring out uh, Umo for being unsafe because you got injured. They fired you for that? That's bollocks. You got injured on the job, so they fired you for it? Are you kidding me? If they fired, if companies fired people for getting injured on the job, nobody would have a job. That's really dumb, Dev. I'm sorry. That's like really stupid. Are you going to be okay financially? Like, are you going to be able to get a uh, freaking unemployment at least? Here we want to build a garden. So we are, I'm surprised we haven't gotten hit with a siege yet.
Creamery is almost done. Like these couple things will be done soon. So I'll just be the farm that takes the longest still. Things are coming together. We still want to upgrade the sheltered beds. And a sniper tower will build another time. You'll see another job soon. Well, I hope that you can get one very soon. It's very tough to get jobs right now, though. It's a little concerned. But keep us updated, please. That's so stupid that they fired you. That pisses me off. I'm going to go over there and be like, you fired Dev, I fire you. We'll send my State of K2 community after them. They won't want to mess with Clint and Umo and Vinay. And you have a girlfriend. Very nice. What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? Tell us. Spill the details here. I really don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of just walking around waiting for stuff to be done. We just have to get our cars back too, guys. Uh, but it's not far away. Are they over there? Cargo van. There they all are. Mad Norma, Pyrohawk, Bloodmobile. It's all over there. We gotta find like a crap car filled up. Like this ambulance out here. Fuel it up, drive it over there. And start getting our cars out. Dee Dee, very nice. So, uh, what's she like? <laughs> what's Dee Dee like? I'm happy to hear that too, Dad. That's awesome. Okay, infirmary has been built, but it needs to be upgraded. Uh, we're just going to keep keep doing this. I don't care about the siege. We can fight it off. I just want to get my base going here. Storage 2, about to be upgraded. Garden will be done. Once the sun starts to come up, we might take a trip over and to ambulance and grab one of our cars at least so we're kinda of just working at home here tonight we're not going out to fight the zombies almost 20 minutes in we haven't even fought one zombie yet it's character building right now <laughs> farms going it's gonna be great once we get this base set up a lot of room here very spacious. Uh oh. Sounds like that siege might be on its way. Juma's working on the garden. <laughs> See, our morale's cheerful now because of the grilling that we did. That helped. We can't upgrade this because we don't have enough manpower right now. Too many things going on at once. But we're ready to fight. Somebody shows up. Look at the stars. Which way is the lake? I think the lake is that way, right? Yeah, it is. But you can't really see here at night, but we'll take trips. Like I said, we'll take plenty of trips down to that lake. If we don't clear off some infestations, we're gonna be in deep shit real soon. <laughs> I think we already are. Look at all those infestations over there. 
throw all that one area again. Oh, there's Rooney, Bethany. Rooney, she lasted maybe, what, an episode or two? 5-5, five, five, beautiful, wears glasses, kind of chunky, does not drink or smoke, and she's not really picky. She's 26, 23, but you don't care. Hey, that works. That's all very nice. Doesn't drink or smoke, that's, that's good. I mean, smoke cigarettes, anyways, that's always a plus. I don't have that. Well, I'm glad that Dee Dee is in your life, Dev. That's awesome. Where's the rest of the crew here to celebrate? <laughs> Nobody else is here right now. I think you don't like one watching. Jesse and I are doing real good, yeah. I actually might be seeing her later tonight. Because um, she's cleaning right now. So I might go hang out with her and her brother. You know. Because they, uh, they, they clean their house, like, very frequently. Which is smart, you know. They sanitize everything. Keep safe, you know. Jessie's really, really sweet, and uh, she's done a lot for me already. It's crazy. She's done, you know, she's done a lot for me since we. Here they come. Oh, they're gonna climb here. All right, that's fine. I'll get them all as they come in. Wait. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Kill them with revolvers. Hold on. Is this a revolver? It is. Yes, I got another one with a revolver. <laughs> the armored Zed ones, maybe eventually will go. This guy was twerking a little bit there. Okay. We have our first action of the episode. See Jesse, um, Jesse and I get along so well, and we like we have a lot in common, which is I've never had this much in common with anybody before. It's pr quite crazy. <laughs> She's thinking ahead that far already. Yeah, I um, I wouldn't, you know, push anything. You know, I think you guys should just enjoy each other. You're both young, like. I think compared to me, you're both really young. <laughs> I would just, you know, enjoy what you're doing and don't rush anything. Don't rush anything. But, you know, once you know what you want, definitely go for it. You can't wait forever either, you know, to do the things you want to do. That's some advice I can give all you youngins out there. Don't wait forever to take risks and take chances and do things that you want to do because you're not going to have forever. So opportunities present themselves. By all means, take them. If they fail, they fail. But at least you can say you took some of those opportunities and those chances, those risks. But you don't ever want to leave yourself wondering what if or, you know, I should have done that. I wish I had done that. You know, the farm is almost done. We can upgrade. What else should we upgrade here? Is the garden done? Oh, it is. We will upgrade the garden, and we gotta start planting food. All right, we gotta get meds in here. We're gonna be pretty good. Thought I was 26. <laughs> you and everybody else. Twenty-six, 
25, 26 is the usual guess for my age, but you know, most people will never know <laughs> how old I am. I could be younger than that. I could be, I could be in my 60s, guys. I'm not, but you know, I could be, right? I'll probably be in my 60s and still playing this freaking game, huh? <laughs> Imagine that. 60 year old Zero. Sitting here still playing State of Decay 2, guys. They'd be like, okay, guys, we're on day 5,942. Maddie's still alive. My Xbox One barely works. It'd be real retro then, huh? Imagine what games are going to look like in like 20 years. 30, 40 years. Like, oh my gosh. Compared to what they already are. All right, and then we have this that we can, oh, that's not the one we can upgrade. Hey, Yolanda. All right, so the farm is built. We also want to upgrade this so we can get more food and stuff. That's going to take time, though. So, uh, we'll probably upgrade that next episode. For now, I'm just going to start planting food so we can get some food growing. We'll get a mod after we upgrade it, but for now we want to get that. So this is all about the base right now. All about that base. I'm sorry, I, I said that. <laughs> Zero at 60, this is episode 136 of Stadia to K12. Yeah, there it is. State of Decay 12. <laughs> Imagine if there was that many of them. They just kept making these. There's going to be like, they're still going to be making Assassin's Creed and Call of Duties in the year like 20, 2060. Watch. They're like, yeah. Can I ask her how old I am? Okay. She might tell you. I don't know. Maybe she won't. Come on, Infirmary, really finish. Alright, the sun is not even coming up yet. It's been dark this entire episode. And we haven't really done much, but just, you know, we've been working on the base. That's what we gotta do. We gotta be working. It's not, it's not the most exciting thing right now, guys, but it's gotta be done to sustain ourselves. Yeah, I see. I don't know when this series is gonna end. I talk about it, I'm like, I don't know how it's gonna end, when it's gonna end. You know, there's just, there's no plans of me stopping it, but. State of, Decay, State of Decay 3, we know, is coming. It's been announced, it's going to be coming out, and I'm certainly going to be playing a lot of that game. A heck of a lot of that game. Just like this one. So, it's, if anything, this is going to be very much on the back burner when State of Decay 3 comes out. wide water why can we not collect water All right, storage can we upgrade storage anymore no that's as good as it gets so let's put a mod in here storage of of our materials. What's this? Crafts special ammo and independent. Oops, independence pack consumables. Got hiccups here. <laughs> Matsy. <laughs> yeah. Is that a, mic a nickname for me now? Or for Maddie? Plus two storage food. Maintenance bench is good though too. You know that gives us durability loss for our weapon durability loss. Prevents weapon durability loss, I should say. Uh, yeah, we'll put that in for now. That's very useful too. Sun is finally starting to, to creep up here. 
like it for sure. All right, so like I said, we're going to wait to do that one. We planted some stuff here. We're going to wait to build the sniper tower. So we're going to upgrade the farm, build that. The garden is being upgraded right now. Storage is being dealt with. Infirmary, can we upgrade that once more as well? So we can build like... Uh, Yeah, 14 minutes. We'll do that today too. Uh, so we craft first aid kits and we'll put in our stabilizing foam mod. All right, we could do some of this stuff on the road too, so why don't we get going? We'll grab some gas and we will hit the road and. Go start grabbing some of our cars. It's Matt and Jesse. Oh, you're shipping us as Matsy? Okay. Is that what everybody on YouTube and Twitch is going to call us? Matsy? <laughs> so we're heading towards this ambulance so we can grab that. That's going to be like a junk car. Whoa, whoa. Hey folks, I got an offer you can't refuse. Well, you can, Amy Lee wants to talk to us. Amy. So there's the nice lake that we get to live by. Now, in our own backyard here. So nice of it. I mean, look at this. You get to this lake here, you get a view to die for here. Oh, is this thing drivable? I can drive it. Oh, it's got oh, it's got first aid kits and stuff in there. Excellent. I can drive it. It just needs to be fueled. Jesse. Well, I mean. I could say a lot, and I mean, you know somewhat about her because she comes into a lot of the streams and she streams herself, but she is shy, but literally the sweetest person I've ever met. She's super sweet, super supportive. Um, she's very caring, very generous. She loves soft pretzels, tea, anything blueberry. She loves games. She loves gaming, playing games. She's the kind of girl I can sit and will sit and play games with you all night. And she'll have a great time. And she'll binge shows. She'll, you know, watch horror movies. She likes she likes to read. She loves books. Um, oh, shoot, I'm going the wrong way. She's adorable. And she somehow puts up with me, so I mean that's a <laughs> that's quite the positive. I'm very lucky, yes I am. I mean she's so compatible for me. I almost couldn't believe it was real. I was like, okay. Whoops. Getting lost here. Oh, and speaking of, there she is. <laughs> oh, Jesse, don't worry. We're, uh... <laughs> We're not talking about you. <laughs> You're cleaning still, aren't you? 
But seriously, she likes playing games a lot, though, so it's really great. But I also like doing anything. She'll go just stay like, hanging out with her. It's so much fun. We talk, you know, we just talk and talk and talk, too. And it's great. Of course we were talking about you. I was talking about you. Dev asked me about you. Uh, Dev has a girlfriend now. Named Dee Dee. So we're kind of happy. <laughs> I parked here as if like we still live. I almost like walked in here as if like we still lived here. No lie. I was like, hey everybody, I'm home. Shoot, all these cars, are, are they even drivable? How's Mad Norma looking? Okay, she could probably make it back. Let's get Mad Norma back home. I'm gonna miss the soccer field. <laughs> yeah, it's about time they start overwhelming our base with all the work we've been doing there. Surprised they haven't showed up yet. Okay. Oh, they're like screamers over here. Oh, there's bloaters. Oh, there's a screamer over here. Give him a nice squish. Oh, shoot. My mad Norma has returned home. Get all of our car collection here. There she is. Do we have any rucksacks in the bank, too? That's another thing I want to check. I think we might have brought some of the wizard band, right? Oh no, I guess not. Alright, I'm gonna have to go by foot for the next cars. Climb! Can I not climb this? He can't climb that, he has to go through the gate. Come on. We did find some first aid kits though, which is nice. <laughs> She's shy, especially when you talk about her, she gets, she gets shy. She's very... She's very social when she wants to be, right, Jesse? But she can be very shy, which I can be shy too. I used to be. I used to be super shy, guys. I would have been able to talk to a girl like Jesse before. Yes, it is easier talking to people in chat. It's totally different, you know. Face to face, it's it can be kind of hard to talk to people at times. You know, everybody's different in their comfort their comfort zone. Like I said, I used to be pretty. Pretty damn shy and shut off. But I, I learned to open up more and break out of my shell, if you will. Alright, here we go. The siege is on. Gotcha. Oh. Whoa. Another screamer. Can I get it before it screams? Gotcha! What a shot. Umo is so good. Get Umo, don't mess with him. I want to kill this guy with a pistol. My revolver. Okay, here we go. Yes, yeah, 15 of 25 Zeds killed with revolvers. Armored Zeds, that is. <laughs> G 
She's asking me if it's okay to tell him. <laughs> yes, I'm 60. You can tell him I'm 60. Wow, they wrecked that juggernaut. Good, good stuff, guys. Way to, way to control our new home. Uh, the garden. All right, let's uh, upgrade the garden again. Let's get this fully upgraded. <laughs> yeah, Jesse likes them really old, old guys. What can I say? She likes them older. So you know, sixty-year-old me here. <laughs> Infirmary is pretty close. Alright, so this this trip we're gonna go by foot here, but we're probably gonna need a toolkit as well. So, so I gotta go back in here, toolkit and maybe a few snacks. Some gas cans. We have some healing. He should be good because obviously he's our best. Stamina guy. So next up we are going over here. Picking out another car to take back with us. Car collecting. Look at Young. He's just like, yep. I'm just going to chill here. So this is going to be a bit of a trip here on foot. Yo, Glover here. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a trip. Could get very dangerous too, so. Look at the view here, yo, guys. Now look at this. This is in our backyard. Our base is right up there. We come down here. We got the lake. Yeah, this wonderful mountain and lake view here. You can't beat this. Oh, I love it. That's the one. That's one of the things I'm so excited about for State of K3 is to explore the map. The maps or map. We got a lot of bad news up there. Don't you dare tell your friends. Oh, no way. He warned all of them. Shoot. We got to run. We might have a lot of zombies. This is going to get crazy. What if I was nothing? All that remains. You going to sing her that song? By All That Remains? like a camp okay there's like a little oh napalm grenades were just deposited that's good so we're gonna keep on running we can check these buildings too at some point oh shoot a feral let me get out my pistol Got him, got him. Now I gotta run more. Shoot armored ones. Don't wanna stop and fight them.
<laughs> Jesse's the most excited out of all of us, I think. About Dev's girlfriend. on the run oh wow what a shot and we're in we just gotta get in here now we can go it's kind of weird be <laughs> he says we could easily turn this place into a new base oh really Umo? we weren't just living here one night ago all right what's next uh, we got the blood mobile the armored van and let's take the pyro hawk Can this drive? Uh, let's repair it, I guess. Am I gonna wear a tux? <laughs> Do you want me to wear a tux? I've never worn like a full tuxedo, to be honest. I've worn like, you know, dress coats and stuff like that, but not like a tuxedo. I, you know, I sometimes wear a tie and stuff to work, you know, dress pants and a nice button-up. Oh, we have a clip. We have a clip. I wonder if I could, like, download all the clips. Or at least some of the clips that I have on Twitch and make like a community video out of it for YouTube to see what stuff's. Uh, there's been some random clips too. Just find like the best ones and put them in a video and say who it was clipped by. Is that a good idea for a video? It'd take me a little while to edit it all in, but that would be pretty cool. You know what I almost did tonight? I almost did a live stream of music tonight, guys. I was almost, I was playing guitar right before this. Uh, trying to get my Xbox One to work. And I was playing guitar for a little while. I almost was like, I'm going to stream some songs tonight. But I was like, eh. Maybe someday soon. Again, we'll see. So I was working on just practicing some of my acoustic stuff and the pyrohawk is here get out of here burn yeah that's right you don't want none of this oh, again we're just gonna keep parking over here Another live music one. That would have been great. I like hearing you play. Yeah, I was thinking about it tonight. I was like, nice. Maybe sometime soon. Uh, just play some of the stuff that you guys have heard on YouTube, maybe. Because I'm trying not to share too much of the stuff that I haven't shared yet, you know, because I, I want to keep those surprise songs for people for when the album actually comes out. But as like I said, I'm not rushing to, to release it. I do want to get an album out, but if I rush it, I'm going to be really upset with myself. And I feel like I've maybe thought I was going to release it too quickly. And since I don't really have the capabilities of doing quite the music production that I want, i got to try and get it as best as I can before I release it. And like I said, it's not always easy to record around here. It's not easy at all. All right, we need that. Maybe our last toolkit. I'm gonna go back for another car. 
But first we're going to do some more work here. Stabilizing foam. Heavy duty storage has been upgraded. Everything's looking good there. Sheltered beds, let's upgrade those as two to get a facility slot. Workshop can be upgraded too. We'll do that too. We'll get a couple more things going. This is the garden. We'll be done soon. So going, going, going. Have you ever done covers of songs? Um, yeah, I, I've actually put two covers on YouTube, I think, so far. Uh, but they're by, like, you know, they aren't songs that are real popular. It's, you know, by artists I really like. Um, I did a cover of a song called I'm Too Good by a band called Vast, who I really like. I need to do a video on the band Vast and show you guys if you don't know who they are. They're so good. If you like Led Zeppelin, you'll probably like Vast. They're a modern, kind of a modern Zeppelin sounding band. Uh, they've been around since like the late 90s, early 2000s, and uh, they still release music. They, you know, had an EP kind of recently. Uh, they were supposed to have another full album soon, but I don't know what happened. So I think I've done like two covers or something. I generally don't like doing too many covers just because, I don't know, like... I always like writing my own stuff. I get so much joy out of writing my own songs. I always want to create something new, something different. So I like, I get carried away writing my own stuff at times. Don't rush it like cyberpunk. <laughs> exactly, yeah, let's not rush it like cyberpunk. If I rush it out, it's not gonna be the quality I want it to be. And I'll be quite pissed. But, so hopefully, you know, sometime this year, you know, eventually I'm going to have to make a release date for the album, so that way I'm, like, disciplining myself to actually finish it by that date. So then I, I have to work on it more and more. All right, so we're going to go after another car. Here we go. But I can tell you right now that songs on the album are not going to... There's going to be a lot of different sounding songs on there. The first two tracks... Are completely different types of music the first one you'll hear you know is a pretty pretty good opener I think and really fun and then the second track is just completely different from that it completely strays away from from the first track and then the third tracks way different too and the fourth one I mean there's like there's like so many different types all right where's that feral where is it Got you, bastard. Don't mess with Umo. Shoot, these juggernauts are still hanging around there. Raven Age? I've never heard of them. That's cool. Raven Age. I wonder if uh, Beantown Hero has heard of them. He likes his uh, alternative rock a lot as well. So far, so far on the album, I think one, two, three songs uh, feature live electric guitar, and there are three completely different types of songs, and then two are acoustic ones, straight up acoustic, one being Daylight that we all, we all heard, or most of us that follow my music have heard. Gonna clean it up a little bit though. The Saw song, yeah. <laughs> That's your favorite one. The thing is, I don't even remember. Like, I can play some of that, but I forget how to play the rest of it. I was practicing that actually kind of recently. I was like, how did I play this song? It's like so random. 
and the effect on like my voice is not even I'm like not even singing really in that song I'm kind of like speaking but I tried to make it sound like the saw guy like jigsaw that's why I was trying to give myself the distortion of his voice grave of grave of fireflies that's a great name for a song We're almost there. Umo is still pretty good with his stamina, even though he's got some Z's. I just hope, you know, I always talk about how I hope people do like my album. You know, they, they find something on there that they enjoy. That's why it's going to be a bunch of different types of music, so there'll be a little something for everybody. But it's also going to show people the kind of artist I'm going to be and doing different types of music and different influences and, and whatnot. And it's completely, you know, it's it's a good way to kind of express yourself as well. It's a really good way. Okay. All right, next we take, let's take the armored van. Uh, Bloodmobile, I don't think we can get those anymore, so we definitely want to try and get that too. All right, this doesn't need fuel. We might be able to get it there without having to repair it too. So we can save this for the, um, the Bloodmobile. No, don't you dare. Of course he's going to do that. Alright, now we like literally can't hit anything else. Sparky? Oh, Sparky was here um, yesterday. Or last night, whatever it was, when I was doing Breath of the Wild. Now you guys seem to come in at different times now. See, you know, as some people like uh, Sweet Pea's been uh, very active on the YouTube recently. She's been commenting and she's been uh, recommending some stuff to me as well, which is awesome. I think she wants to play Rocket League because I have a Rocket League club. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That I'm trying to get more people to join so we can all play online together. Uh, Beantown Hero is going to be on there. We're, we're making our own car lot here again. You know? Ooh, look at that drift. Oh, shoot. Get the screamer. There we go. Whoops, that was a pretty rough parking job there. Okay, one more to go, Umo. Alright, the, uh,. Let's go heal him real quick from the infirmary. He used to play Rocket League. Yeah, if you ever play again, uh, definitely add us on there. On Xbox, we can um, we can I can send you uh, an invite to the to the team. It's called Zero United. So basically, what you do is you just play online together, four people at a time, and you know it shows that you're on team zero whatever it says zero next to your name your gamer tag whatever you use your epic name account and we play together and we face off against you know other random people we could even face like other random teams online there might be competitive play too i don't know if there's like tournaments or anything we could enter that'd be kind of fun 
And then there's a page that shows me like everybody that's on the roster. So far it's just four people. It's me, Jesse, her friend Felicity, who uh, used to stream pretty often. She hasn't streamed too much lately. But um, And then uh, this guy George, who we, we met playing online, he just like, <laughs> he joined the team. <laughs> We're like, all right, George. So let's go get the Bloodmobile. One more to go. Umo's doing so good here. Yeah, it's great. You know, that would be a good way. Um, you know, for more people, Sweet Pea wants to join. Beantown Hero wants to join, uh, which I really want both of them on there too. Because, you know, I play with Sean anyways. And, uh... Anybody? I want to get my friend Scott on there too. My friend Scott from back home, uh, who is becoming a wrestler. He's actually had a... A match or two already. He goes to a wrestling school. And uh, who's actually produced uh, some some WWE wrestlers from that school. So it's really cool. So he's he wants to play Rocket League. And he likes to play. He's actually the one that introduced me to the game. So he's pretty good. Pretty damn good. And I hope I can get him on Zero United. Anybody watching this on the stream who's listening, or on uh, YouTube as well, I should say, more, more so the YouTube video back, um, if any of you play Rocket League and want to join Zero United, by all means, leave your gamer tag, your epic account name on, you know, in the comments there, and I can send you an invite for for friend request and then uh, an invite for the team so you can play too if you want because there'll be times where I'm just streaming Rocket League probably online and if anybody watching wants to join in the team they can come in and be part of the video you know we'll get like a bunch we'll get like 100 people on Zero United that'd be great <laughs> Milfy Matt United oh yeah I blew a chance to name it that <laughs> Milfie Matt, my NBA Street character. I love it. And my friend Scott, who I was just mentioning, I think he was... I think his name was Slutty Scott, I think. <laughs> it's Slutty Scott and Milfie Matt. I should send Scott a screenshot of my NBA Street 2 roster. And he'll just lose it. A lot of work doing in this episode here. Umo is like running miles and miles and miles here. He could be, like I said, he could be an Olympic track star. Where's the feral? There it is. Get out of the way! Shoot. Oh, this is not good. Oh, it's not good at all. Because there's all these plague ones coming. Oh, gosh. Alright, we gotta get inside the walls. Slutty Scott and Wolfie Matt back in action. Yeah, so I'm gonna get him in. Darn it, I can't hit this bastard. Darn it. Shoot, I need to reload and I don't have time for that. I had to get around the wall. There we go. Where is it? Oh my gosh, it jumped in front of me. Alright, now we're going in here. <laughs> Umo literally running for his life right now. Where is it? Here it comes. Gotcha. <laughs> that was a chase. That was like I mean, beep beep. That was like freaking Roadrunner and Wiley e. Coyote there. Milfie Matt will always be a zero meme. Yes, it should be. 
I gotta name a character in something, Milfie Matt. Something that we use regularly. We'll see. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the names we had for like. Oh gosh. Things like that remind me of the good old days of gaming when I used to game with my friends, you know, in person all the time where I used to live. We used to, yeah, just have so much fun playing games, sports games, shooting games, whatever, racing games, fighting games. Oh, this doesn't need refueling at all. But it might need a good repair. Get out of here, lady. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing. Here we come. Look out. Bloodmobile. Look out, bloaters, oh darn it. Freaking bloaters. I didn't even hit him. He like almost died because of that crap. Oh, this is not good, hurry up. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. Okay, okay, what am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do? I gotta outrun all these bastards first of all. Go, 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 go. No, he's gonna rip me out of here. Get out of here. Oh, it's a dead end. Gosh darn it. Freaking bloaters. They hit you when you don't even graze them. That was another feral coming, too. Oh my gosh. Wow, another bloater. That was close. If I stayed out there too much longer, Umo might actually die. <laughs> Milfie, Matt, Jesse, come on. I deserve better. No, I do not. You deserve better, Jesse. We all know that. How, how she puts up with me, I'll never know. I'm very grateful for it. But I don't think she's seen my NBA Street 2 character called Milfie Matt. You know what these Muertos got. I've only played it like the once or twice on stream, I think. All right, so we made it. <laughs> he needs to be checked in though to the infirmary. Cause he is, he did a lot there to get all this for us. The car collector. We barely have any parts. So it's gonna be rough for a little bit here. So we get ourselves situated. Certainly gonna be rough. Uh, use that, and then we gotta check him in. And Yolanda. I need some meds and a good sleep. I gotta rest up. I Take control, like Juma. I got no complaints. Well, I think you do, but I'll just lie for now. I agree. I agree, Dev. Like, very much so. 22 minutes. So uh, workshop needs to be upgraded yet again, which we won't do quite yet. That's good, Dev. Yeah, I'm with Jesse until she gets sick of me. <laughs> 
Oh wow, look at the garden. We never had one like this before. Oh, that's so cool. Medical herbs, so why don't we do food for now? And we can install a lot to install mod. We have this it's got a little roof on it. We never had a garden like this. That's so neat. I love it. Usually they're like this out in the open. <laughs> Jesse, come on. I love that we can make fun of all this, though. See? You can joke around with her, too. Another reason why Jesse's awesome. Alright, what else do we have? Is this no, that's not the one we're gonna upgrade? Garden three, that's just getting it's growing food. Storage is good. Mostly everything's good except we just gotta build the tower, upgrade the farm. Upgrade the workshop once more. I think that the sheltered beds are done, so we can actually put a mod in here now. Airtight containers, water cooler. How much space do we have for our stuff right now? We have no room for materials. Plenty of room for fuel, ammo, meds, and food materials. So why don't we put a mod in that increases morale, huh? We'll install the comfy chair for morale. Is she hiding again? Because we're saying nice things about her. Jesse, don't hide. <sighs> mission expired. Yeah, I'm not worried about the missions right now. We have our own mission here. Alright, so infestations are obviously a big problem. We have a wandering trader. Not far away. Maybe we could go see what he has to offer. We have a lot of influence. Well, not a lot. We have over a thousand. They might have stuff that we really could use, though. Let's see if we have anything to trade. So we're going to go find this trader and see. While well, stuff on the base continues to get worked on here. How's the cleaning going, Jesse? You still cleaning? Or you, did you make your tea? 357. I'll give him a little more ammo, too. Although we had to trade like a lot of stuff just to get him... Just to get us this this place. Ooh, that's a feral. Um, we really don't have anything to trade, do we? That's okay. Five gas launcher rounds. Oh, cool. They just deposited some painkillers and snacks. Very nice. Always good to have more of those. You forgot your tea? Were you actually brewing tea? Or is it the water that was boiling over? I'm sorry. Did our stream, did my stream distract you? I'm sorry. What about cleaning? You were cleaning too. can't upgrade the farm without water that's right so we got to remember to keep collecting water from the, uh, the oil well too that'll help keep morale up I'm back on my feet and ready to get back to 
Oh, you haven't even started the tea yet. I see. Okay, there we go. Collect the water. Installed a shelf to put my painting up. Oh, really? You could have just left it like where it was. That's very nice. Is there more room on the shelf? We can get you more stuff to put on there to fill it up. I'd paint you more stuff, but I want to litter your room with my awful paintings. <laughs> So we're gonna go. So where are we going? Can we? Uh, I guess we can take a car over there. One more check on the base. See how everything's going. Garden is good. We can add a mod in. Max health. We want that one. We have that mod. Infirmary is all good. That's all good. It's just the farm and the tower that we need to do. Uh, workshop as well, actually. Workshop has to be upgraded. Uh, we might have time to do this right now. 14 minutes, I guess. I guess we'll do it right now. I started right, right this second. I guess I'll have the episode go a little bit longer, too. We can also put a mod in there. So a few things to do. Still, let's go grab one of our cars and get over there. The sun's starting to set already. Man, this community, we've moved around. We've been through so much. Moved around all over the place. Yeah, the Triforce painting I had done. I think I, I did a video just showing it real quick. My last like art video I, I released. <laughs> I um I'm lame I paint things I'm not good at painting but I like doing it I know she likes Zelda so I felt inspired to do that for her I buy her CDs too like albums I love I'm like here have this <laughs> she's gonna get so sick of like the CDs I get her so I love I love sharing music that's one of my favorite things to do if I see albums that I love in like thrift stores, sometimes I'll buy them because they'll be a dollar. I'll buy them and I'll give them to people. Like here, check this album out. It's really good. Right, is this car good to go? Yeah, it should be good to go. Get away from me, bloater. Get away. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. <laughs> I am. Oh, Jesse, that's so nice of you. I'm trying. I just want to do what I can. This is going to be a tough, uh, tough trader to get to, I think, guys. We're like off road here, past the bridge. See what Klein has to offer. Is he? Oh. He's in here, huh? Oh, they got scream. Oh, there's like a freaking infestation in here. Oh no. 
I can't even see. Okay. Luckily, this guy's fighting them all, too. Alright, is that it? Dang, what gun does he have? He's like shooting three at a time here. There's a couple people in here. Oh, this infestation won't die. More keep showing up because they keep freaking shooting everything. There's also cases in here. There might be stuff I could trade them in this place. Still a zombie. It's going to be one of those glitched out ones, isn't it? <laughs> Bag of jumbo cotton balls. There we go. So we can trade that to them right now. Case of chemicals, we'll, we'll take it, maybe we'll trade it, maybe we'll keep it. Still a freaking zombie in here. More chemicals. Where's this last zombie? Is it like glitched out like... It's like glitched out inside this freaking thing. I can't believe that. Let's see if I can hit it. Just swing wildly, maybe we'll hit it. I hate when these zombies are glitched out in infestation, then you like can't finish it. You don't get the morale boost from it. You could be like under the ground too. For movement, he's right here. He also could be up on the roof. Oh, are they shooting him? Please tell me you're finishing him off. It sounds like he's right here, though. Where are you? <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> oh, it's Coleman. All right, I need to trade. Oh, I guess we'll trade here. That's a shame we can't finish this infestation. Let me trade them. Let me just see what they have too. Oh, ammo, fuel. We're gonna need both of that. Gonna grab some fuel. What is this gun? The Piranha. Do we have one of those? I think we do. Oh, ammo is always good too. I'm gonna get the ammo. I'm gonna grab the piranha because I don't know if we have one. I think we do, but now we got two. If we, and I'm gonna grab probably one of those ammo ones too. We'll keep the chemicals because you know those are always good to help craft things with. Where does he go? Where the heck is he? Is he up here? Uh, what did he climb up here for? I'm hoping to make a trade. Interesting. We'll take one of the Sounds ammo like ones too. There we go. I mean, that's almost all of our influence there again, but whatever. And some parts, which we desperately need too. So that's it. We gotta build up our parts again. We have like no freaking um, toolkits either. I 
heck is this last Zed too? Oh, I can't believe we couldn't take out this last zombie. That's, uh, Oh my gosh, here we go. Get off Juma. Thank you, whoever shot that. Client. Yeah, let's get out of here. There's a whole bunch of screamers down there. Oh, that was a bad shot. That was a good one. Gotcha. Did I get him? I don't know if I got him or not. No, I didn't. Like, they aren't gonna let me get him, are they? I can't finish him off because these zombies keep... Alright, you guys do that then. You, sh you shoot him. See? Yeah, it's a screamer. I've been trying to get him for like 10 minutes. He's down. There's another one over here. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's a bloody good time. Ah. Take the plate samples. Okay, this is... Big battle here. him off get out of my face can I leave now my car is like freaking torn up now I go this way through the river here oh, this thing's smoking if I can make it through the river I can actually get home a lot quicker through this farm or whatever which is uh, a blood plague I mean, a plague heart I wonder if I try to take that thing on right now oh boy Good to get home here. Oh, come on, you can do it. There you go. All right, so we got ourselves some more goodies. Oh, we're out of storage for ammo, really? Oh, come on. Like where am I? Where's my coverage out here? I, I, I need help here. This is ridiculous. My group's not helping me. Come on! Where's my, where's my community? Help me out here! Finally. <laughs> so he said nerd alert. Oh my gosh. Alright, so he needs to get checked in too, the infirmary. More zombies coming in. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna freaking die in there. I'll let them t deal with it. I think there was more stuff in the car and I couldn't quite deal with it because of all them. Oh my gosh, come on! Where did that come from? Why is nobody else fighting? There you go, Clint. Freaking die. Poor Juma. 
<laughs> She's got materials on her for some reason, so... Oh my gosh. Are they done now? Is that it? Alright, let's put that and that and that. And then this we can put in our armor. We'll store in our armored van for now. Well. Survivor has blood plague. It's Juma. Oh shoot, he's checked into the infirmary. Juma is busy. Busy dying. How do I? Great. So he's got the blood plague, but we gotta cure it from him. So we gotta get. Hey there. Give cure. Euthanize. <laughs> Exile him. See you later. Some people do play like that, though, where like. Thank you for trying. If somebody in the in their group gets the blood plague, they just exile them or kill them. They don't. They play without the cures. Which is really hardcore. I don't think I'd ever do that. That's pretty cool though. That's really hardcore. Playing as if like there wasn't a cure. Alright, is anything else going on our base? No. So we'll have stuff to do on our base next episode. We gotta upgrade the farm. Perhaps build the sniper tower. We have mods there we gotta put a mod in the workshop everywhere else has mods and is fully upgraded so we're just about good we got all of our cars we still need one more outpost which could be I mean we're pretty good with ammo and materials right now maybe we could do another fuel outpost and then we're food and meds we're gonna be growing here so we're not gonna be too concerned about that Ammo is something else that we can make here too. We could also make meds there. We can also make food in the kitchen. Uh, it's fuel and materials that we're going to need. So I guess fuel will be what we're aiming to get. Thank you all so much for joining me for another nice episode of State of Decay 2. A lot of base work, but then action kicked off later on, didn't it? Dev, always a pleasure to have you here. The legend, Jesse, thank you for coming in. I hope that your tea is ready for you to drink. Hopefully. Um, I appreciate everybody watching and supporting this series and the channel. I really I really like to hear when people are like binge watching, you know, episodes and stuff. It's really cool. You know, it's all about just having fun and just uh, you know, enjoying our time as we continue to to survive here so till next time everybody take care of yourselves and zero is the number <laughs>